You say you'll play for just 10 minutes, and suddenly, it's 3 a.m. Ever wondered why video games are so addictive? Let's dive into the science behind the screen. When you score a goal, complete a mission, or level up, your brain rewards you with a chemical called dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter. This creates a loop, play, win, feel good, repeat. Games are designed to trigger small bursts of success frequently, and that's the perfect recipe for addiction. Video games give you clear goals, measurable progress, and a sense of control, something real life doesn't always offer. You know exactly what to do to win, and that certainty feels satisfying. Every level, every upgrade feels like personal growth, even if it's just pixels. Gaming isn't just solo anymore. Multiplayer games offer connection, community, even fame. You bond with teammates, compete with friends, and sometimes live an alternate life. For many, games provide an escape from stress, anxiety, or boredom. Not all gaming is bad, but when it replaces sleep, social life, or responsibilities, it becomes harmful. Developers understand what hooks us. That's why it's up to you to set the limits. Video games are powerful and addictive because they speak our brain's language. The key is not to quit, but to play consciously. Know the game and don't let the game play you.